1446 Pacific Standard Time, 12 different locations across the globe were breached in what appears to have been a coordinated attack by an unknown enemy. This is a textbook military invasion. We are the last offensive force on the West Coast. We cannot lose Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Nat. He's Matt. We got your geek news right here. And you may notice we're not exactly in the same place right now. In fact, we're almost correspondents at this point, you could say. Correspondents to each other, really. But the great thing is, while I'm still in Toronto, Matt is currently in the land of movies, LA. Yes, so I'm hoping this will give me some kind of occasional unusual access, but for the most part, I'm actually just here for my career. There was a bunch of stuff that I had to do, and I could only do it here. Exactly. And we wanted to keep your geek news going. To some so respect. here we are. Exactly, because you guys, I mean, it's been awesome, but there's been so much, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you up to when you're reviewing this movie and that? And we thought, well, just because we're not physically in the same location doesn't mean we can't be doing something having to do with our exactly. usual geeky reviews. So here we are. And so we figured the best way to describe this battle we're having with being in Toronto and Los Angeles would be to review, well, Battle Los Angeles. How appropriate. So, amazing. <laughs> Who'd have thought? So let's get right into this. We're just going to give this, you know, the best possible treatment we can, considering it's been a month since the movie came out. Yes. But I loved the way this movie started. It had that, it, it felt like the people who made District 9 know how you need to start a film about aliens. Know how to start something that people aren't going to believe. And they really took a page out of that book for this one. Absolutely, because, because they took it thing, and they put oh. it into a medium that everyone learns and knows to believe. You turn it into a news story or a documentary. People believe that stuff because it's based on non-fiction. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's getting to the point that we are so used to seeing this sort of stuff that it's kind of a non-event. You know, you look at Skyline, and that movie was just completely uninteresting on so many levels because it was textbook. But this managed to take that meta level, what we expect out of movies now, to take us into that visceral sort of feeling. Exactly. And it really worked. I love the way it opened. Holy. And, you know, it, it did then revert into just a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it did that sort of T-minus, and it started to let you know, you know, there's going to be a countdown, there's going to be something going on here, what's... But at least What's they bring the you right into, into the action, right? Like, they bring you right into the action, you're already there, and bring you right into the military, the main cast, which is great, because I actually like the cast in this a lot. You, you There were some familiar faces, namely um, Eck Eckhart, Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. Everyone knows him from Dark Knight. He is very famous. He wasn't some no-name like in Skyline, no offense. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There were people in Skyline from fantastic films like Sharktopus and... And, you know, Dino Shark. And, like, you know, the Clueless like... TV show? Yeah. <laughs> Oi. But, yeah, I did like I did like the military troop we were introduced Definitely. to. It was a bunch of people that you knew you were about to see most of them die in the next two hours. Yeah. But it was still that textbook intro, these are the characters you're going to like before we kill them. Exactly. It worked. Uh, yeah, it was it really, really good. Now, the first time you actually see the aliens land, uh, that was crazy. Because, again, they brought it into... Yeah reality into a real life medium into the news so you see the news reporter she's on the shore of la from afar you see like the aliens come out of the ship and everyone's kind of like what is that what are you seeing you're in there with the military yeah. as they're seeing the news the breaking news and it's kind of crazy and there isn't that there isn't that austere elegant beautiful independence day shot no. that no human would ever see as the machines come down exactly. from space as as they hover above elegantly no it was just Bam, 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 exactly the way the man on the street would see it. And that made it very visceral. They kept that feeling, even though they had stepped a little bit out of the news reports. Yeah. As, as your first-hand way of looking at things, you were now seeing it the way the characters were, yep. second-hand through the news, given, and it was It was great. I mean, given it wasn't as freaky as the first time you see the alien, the shadow of the alien in signs, nothing oh. is as freaky as that. Nothing! I, st <laughs> I, st I get crawlies every time I think about that. That was the most elegant, frightening it was alien so I've ever seen. It was so It was crazy. So oh, it didn't have so quite good. that effect, but nevertheless, no. it, they did a really good job. Again, the shadowy and, and aliens, there, and there you're was, like, what the heck? 
there was really good anticipation as to what they're going to look like, you know? Yeah. Are these mechanical, because you're hearing machines moving? Are these just robots we're being invaded by? They have these acid weapons, so there's some kind of biomechanics going on in there. It was really neat to see how that all worked out. Yeah. And, and, you know, they, they did a good job of giving you a bit and pulling you in and pulling you in, and that was really cool. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was really cool to see that. And, I mean, um, even that scene, the first time, that one guy that's left behind in the troops where they're going into the, um, the neighborhood that they're sent into. And then he runs into it the first time at the swimming pool. And you're like, oh my yeah. gosh, what's going on? And then he's and like, it looks like a robot. It looks like a robot. So you're like, what the hell is it? And then, I don't know, like later on with the drone, when Aaron Eckert takes down the drone, and you yes. see that it's fairly organic and there's water-ish. And yeah, you can kind of tell right then. Yeah. If, if it wasn't enough of a hint that they all landed in the water yes. for a soft landing, but that hint of, oh, our machines run on water. Yeah. There's not oil spraying out. There's It was just water. And it became very evident that that's what they were there for, if you were really looking. But one thing that surprised me was the stowaway in this movie of Michelle Rodriguez. How does she show up in like every military slash have, alien slash I, alien military film? Who knows? I have no idea. Any single movie that requires a badass chick that is tough and no you know nonsense, to you know it's always Michelle Rodriguez. That's how it yeah, is. I, it's how it is. I just felt like she was a stowaway. Like, she just hitched a ride Like, yeah, when we saw that female military, we're like, oh, who is that? No, they, can you imagine it's Michelle Rodriguez? Oh my god, it's Michelle Rodriguez. And it was. I couldn't yeah. believe oh, man. it. What, Avatar wasn't now, enough for her? Come on. <laughs> exactly. Just need, need to hitch a ride on another one. But the thing that really blew me away was that Skyline happened. That, that Skyline actually exists bothers me. Because this movie is precisely what Skyline should have been. Nobody cares about the characters nobody cares about. That's why they're the characters nobody cares about. These are the men on the ground. In a ground war. Yeah. It was awesome. Independence Day, it was the movie where the world was saved from aliens in the sky. Right. In a sky war. And this was the Marines... Yeah. Saving the world in a ground war, and it was beautifully done. Was I enjoyed beautiful. the hell exactly. out of it. Getting to see, yeah. getting to see Aaron Eckhart with not a bazooka, but a laser, just to paint that information on there. It was so elegant in a way. It, it just blew my mind. It was so delicate. And like it can't let this important MacGuffin possibly get injured. It was just a beautiful ending. I really, really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Again, for me, it was about the characters. They made you care about the characters, whether it's a exactly. textbook intro or not. Care about the characters? Like I cried, I cried at the end where this. Well, some people die as they inevitably do, and yeah, like the speeches that happen, like, it, it was good. And then the ending, they're just such noble, likable, sympathetic characters that you can't help but yeah. feel satisfied by the end of the movie. You're just like, okay, obviously it's open ended because the aliens haven't disappeared by the end necessarily. Like you're in the midst, the beginning of an alien invasion, but at least it's not some skyline ending where you're just like. What the hell just happened there? And the world was then ended. Like, it's just kind of a crap way to... I mean, we're all humans. You're pretty much certain that you're going to have a 100% <laughs> human audience. And so we kind of want to think at the end of this thing, we have a chance. You know? That's true. That, that kind of bothered me. And, and to me, a chance is not necessarily my brain living on an alien monster mm, while my pregnant no. wife is... You know, that skyline just didn't quite... <laughs> You know, it's like, the, it's like the, the skyline thing. guys were like, we don't want to keep it open-ended. Let's give it some sort of ending. Oh, how about we leave the Preggers girl with her boyfriend's brain stuck in an alien? That's not an open-ending at all. Oh, <laughs> retarded. But you know what? Given the insane number of alien invasion films, I think we need to give a memo to aliens. Yes. Oh, Next my time, God. Next time, if you're going to invade, hit a remote place with very little intelligent life, especially if all you want is water. Exactly. Hit Alaska or Antarctica exactly. or even Madagascar. I don't understand you know, why Vancouver, they always... a place where there's no intelligent life. Oh, hilarious, man, hilarious. Like, I just don't understand why in alien, any alien movie they always go to, like, the biggest metropolitan center in every country possible, you know? But in this especially one, I... when, Especially when all they wanted was water. Exactly. Like, you can go to Hawaii. Anywhere, guys. Why didn't they just go to Hawaii? <laughs> yep, go to Australia and stay there. I mean, like, there's so much water around the island. Anyway. anyway. Exactly. They're going to live there forever. No one would have noticed. So aliens who are watching or are tuned in through satellite or whatever, tapped into our internet, note, make note that if you want our water... <laughs> Please. Don't invade metropolitan centers. Yeah, don't go someplace where the army is going to be really pissed off and there's a lot of them, especially, like, billions of dollars are spent on them because that's kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, 
absolutely. All right, well, that's our Battle LA review. So if you'd like, we've got more of these sort of he said, she said videos coming up. We've got a review of Thor, of course. We're going to be coming back with every big comic book movie this year, whether it's X-Men First Class, whether it's Green Lantern, everything that's coming out the rest of the year. Oh, uh, yeah, Harry that? Potter, uh, the first Part And two. the first Avenger, of course. Yeah, exactly. We'll be, we'll be hitting all of them. So don't worry, the reviews will still keep coming with these funny little snippets here and there. Exactly, of and you, you know what? Let us let us know. It. Like we still want your conversation, and let us know what you think. I mean, we want to continue having these conversations with you, which is why we're doing this. But yeah, hopefully you love and we love, and we can keep on going with our geeky reviews because this is too much fun. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. So remember, hit yourgeeknews.com. Have your say from the two geeks who always have something to say. Bye.